good afternoon, or good evening, I guess I should say, since it is dark. Uh, first and foremost, welcome back to Half Fast 719. Coming at you with a video for my free 2005 CRF 450R. Um, did some stuff uh, yesterday. You saw uh, the video that came out on Tuesday. And, uh, yeah, basically I was going over the tires and stuff. So I got uh, my bolts. <clears throat> I got my bolt kit for the rotors. Stuck the rotors on. The rims. Stuck the tires, as you saw. Um, rear. Rear tire, everything's on, sprocket, <clears throat> rotor, uh, bike is ready to rock. It's a uh, whip mount um, that the guy from my work that bought my 2012 Ram, um, he gave this to me. You do have to drill a hole in the fender, the rear fender, which I didn't want to do, but my plan is to go camping eventually. Um, this is a quick mount flag or whip holder. Basically, it's just spring loaded. You stick the whip in there, you pull this, you push it down, and then it, you know, it spring loads and grabs it. So I got that on. Air filter's clean and lubed. Everything's good. Um, uh, I did fire it up and ran it for about five minutes. Um, got it up to about. 200 degrees. This is a tusk radiator cap with temperature gauge. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to take the bike out tomorrow for a ride, for a cruise. That's why I got the gear bag out. I actually got my gear in the washing machine. Um, yeah, so I got the gear, got the boots, got that. Got my paddle tire all ready to go. It's got the rotor. It's got my sprocket. So, anyway. So this thing's ready to go. If I end up going camping to the sand dunes. But for now, I'm going to leave it as it is right now. Um, I do want to say one thing. A, uh, a gentleman in Home Depot. Um... Not sure if I mentioned it on my last video, but uh, yeah, I was basically choking and dying because <laughs> uh, I was grabbing this uh, hardy board, hardy concrete siding, Heidi, hardy siding, and it's concrete. And I was grabbing two sheets at a time and you know, flopping it, flopping it. So the concrete dust kept coming in my mouth and nose and who knows what else. And I was wearing a mask of the uh, one of those gators. Um, but yeah, this uh, this dude was really concerned for my health, and I want to say thanks. You know, I wish there was a lot of people out there like that. Um, he walked me outside, walked me to my truck. I got water. He made sure I was good. You know, my truck was just parked outside of Home Depot because I was loading pellets and whatever else. And uh, yeah, if I ever see the guy, I might thank him again. So anyway, everybody needs to be like that guy. Um, I try to be like that guy. I try to help people. Um, when I go places, Home Depot or wherever I'm at, uh, if they are struggling with some wood or whatever, I'll try to help them out. Or uh, even if they're looking for something, some stupid bolt or nut or screw, I go in there, I'll help them out. So need more people like us in the world, um, more people like my brother-in-law that uh, gave me the dirt bike, more people like my brother that gave me a bunch of power tools, just more people uh, not really giving but just more of caring I guess, so yeah, anyway, just want to say thanks to all those people out there that do care, that do have concern about others well-being and other life but uh yeah anyway um 
don't really have much more to say. Uh, bike's ready to go. So if you watch any of my other videos, I did fork seals, uh, new uh, new fluid, new front brake pads, new rear brake pads, new oil in the engine, um, new oil filter, and uh, clean the air filter. I do have another a new air filter, um, new rear brake pads. These are different wheels from an 07. They were practically brand new, and the uh, rotors are practically brand new too. Um, you could see the the newer design of the rotor. So this just has this is from an 05. It's got holes in the rear, and then this one's got the little slots. So, uh, yeah, I ended up doing the tranny fluid three times for the clutch fluid side three times. First time I drained both. Second time I ran it through and I wanted to clean it out because it seemed uh, really, 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 really thin. So I wanted to do that and then I did the head pipe. Head pipe, I was going to order a new one. However, because this was creased in pretty far, probably about... A half inch or more and uh, ended up sticking it in the freezer I don't have an actual video of of it but I do have a video of kind of like a before and after and if you're watching the videos you would see um, it was pretty bad so got that in there got this bolt Loctite in everything's back together um, I did a water pump, the uh, did the shaft, the seal, the bearings, everything inside here is new. Um, new gasket for the case. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, these wheels both have heavy duty tubes. This tire wasn't actually that bad to put on. It took me about maybe 30 minutes to take the old tire off, put the new tire on, the paddle on. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't that bad. Uh, yeah, I can't really say anything bad about it. It was good. It went, it went really smooth. Um, so now I just need to stick this rotor, this rotor on this front wheel. Um, as you can see it says drive 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 come on drive it says drive anyway that's the direction basically the way Honda is and everything all the letters go out all the lettering whatever else all that stuff goes out so these will be my dune wheels um, I did want to show um, where the rim lock is there's a flat spot here, like someone cranked this wheel lock down way too far. And the rim is cracked right, right there. So the rim does have a crack in it. I believe it's on both sides. So, yeah, you can see it a lot better here. The focus. Anyway, got a good size crack right here. So, um, the rest of the wheel is fine. I'm not sure if you can see the flat spot where the wheel lock is or rim lock is, but it has one there. You don't have to crank those down like crazy. They were, they were really, really tight when I took the tire off. Um, I want to say someone put about maybe 60, 60 uh, foot-pounds of pressure or foot-pounds of torque on it um, which you don't really need that much I do have uh, there's 20 20 PSI in this wheel and then I have about 12 and a half in the front and the rear of the actual bike so um, hopefully tomorrow taking tomorrow off because I was supposed to meet I think it's a lady, but I'm not sure it's a lady. Um, 
about a 2014 CRF450X for my kid. Um, he pulled the money out, or he put the money in my account. My wife went and got the money out of the account, and uh, yeah, we're trying to get him a bike so we can go ride or do something, you know. He's got a full set of gear too. Those are his boots, my boots. He's got helmet. I'm washing his gear too, just in case I do pick up a bike. So, anyway. But yeah, I did uh, the AC compressor. That is done and ready to get installed. It's right up here. Cleaned a bunch of stuff, organized a bunch of junk. A <laughs> um, bunch of the nuts and bolts, put them in organizers. Uh, tranny fluids down here. I think uh, this weekend, since I'm not going camping, I think I'll do a tranny service on the truck. Um, but yeah. Oh, I cleaned my junk drawer out too. Most of it. Still got a lot of crap to go through. But for the most part, that's pretty much it. I'll show you real quick. That's the uh, main tranny filter. And then here's the adapter. It's a metal adapter, reusable. And here is the little filter. It has the spin-on adapter on it. And uh, these are Mopar. These are Dart Dodge products. So as you can see, that one's plastic. So that one, this one will come out, and then I'll put the metal one in there because they say this one gets hot, and it'll allow it to vibrate, vibrate back out. So yeah. So. 8, 7 of 20, made in USA, so we got that project to look forward to, um, and that's pretty much it, um, got the kids tires I gotta go do, or he's gonna go do eventually, um, we'll take them to a little local tire shop, it takes them like 30 minutes to do a mountain balance, they charge like 10 bucks a tire, so that's it for projects until we get him a bike and then figure out what kind of stuff we got to do with that bike um and the siding and stuff i want to do the siding on the side of this house on the side of this side <laughs> and uh so i can run this put this ac unit in because i don't want to put it in and then do siding because you got to drill a hole on the outside of the house and then run ducting and uh yeah and i also have a friend who's going to be doing me a uh, huge favor and he's going to do a breaker box uh, sub panel or not a sub panel a whole new breaker box because mine's only 100 amp he's going to be doing 200 amp and it's going to have a lot more breaker switches because I think this one's only about 10 to 12 and I told him I wanted a minimum of 20 and uh, he's like okay so uh, yeah, so this way I don't have stuff making mess. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. That's my weekend. That's what I did for the weekend. We'll see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Do what you guys do. Thank you for doing what you guys do. And, uh, be humans out there, people. Be decent humans. Like my, my, uh, lifesaver dude at Home Depot. Alright, guys. Later.